hope everyone's having a fabulous week so far. It is a very wintry, crazy day outside here in Jersey. I hope it's a little warmer wherever you are, but that's not going to stop us. We're still going to hang and we're still going to have a good time. In today's video, I thought that we would hang out a little bit for the day. I plan to go to Target because I heard that the new um, Magnolia section is like bursting with new spring de decor. So I'm going to go there, see what's on the shelves, see if there's anything to kind of add to my spring stuff. As you can see, all the pink for the most part is gone in here. The only thing I kept was my little tea time tray here. And that's because me and my hubby are big tea people. We basically drink tea every single day, you guys. <laughs> so I thought it would be more convenient to have like my tea displayed out with a little tea time sign and my teapot. But as far as everything else, as far as my kitchen, my dining room, and my living room, everything has been, that was Valentine's related, has been put away. And now I am basically in the process and kind of filling the home with some spring love vibes because, you know, it's just like been really cold and I just like the idea of bringing the outdoors in. Um, it's actually an interior design tip that it actually boosts your mood when you use some flowers or plants in your decor. It doesn't necessarily have to be real, although it is nice if you do have a green thumb to go that route because, you know, that is so good for the air in your home. Um, but I don't have a green thumb. So <laughs> I'm going to go look at the decor at Target. Hopefully I can pick up a few pieces maybe to spruce up the living room or the dining room. And yeah, then I'll come back and show you what I got. But let's get going to Target. Okay, you guys. So I decided to start off at the dollar section just so you guys can get a feel for what exactly is on the shelf for Easter and spring. They had a ton of goodies. I don't really do too much um, decorating for Easter. I go more the spring route because I just figure it can kind of stay up a little bit longer than, you know, the Easter bunnies and things like that. But I did adore these carrots. How cute are these little carrots? I specifically like the wicker ones. I might come back for them. I don't know. I'm still debating. They also had adorable little Easter egg like wreaths. They had a ton of stuff. I'm sure they'll be putting out more. And then I made myself, I took myself over to the Hearth and Hand collection with Magnolia. You guys, I absolutely love this section. And it was overflowing with spring decor. You guys, it did not disappoint. So if you're looking for some new spring pieces, it was actually kind of overwhelming. I didn't, I got a little overwhelmed with all of the collection, um, but there was so much there and it just looks so beautiful this time of year. most about this magnolia collection is honestly the plants and flowers look so realistic you guys like even down to the leaves they weren't just like plasticky leaves like they felt like almost like silk material it honestly i just i couldn't tell the difference between what was real and fake they're vibrant they last a long time i mean they're absolutely beautiful i just absolutely loved all of the plant selection okay you guys we are back and i just unbagged what i got i didn't go too crazy honestly it was it was weird because it was like hard not to go crazy but at the same time kind of difficult to go crazy because i was very overwhelmed with the selection i just loved everything so i'm gonna show you what i ended up picking up i didn't go crazy i did end up getting two of these kind of like nude um colored to white ombre 
potted plants. These were $25. And honestly, they are so nice. Like the texture, I wish you guys could feel this, but the texture of these leaves are like, like they look real. So I absolutely love these pots. I got two of them. Here's the other one. Right here. And that is it. That's all I got you guys. Just the two pots. I didn't go too crazy. Um, the goal was just to go there and kind of see what was on the shelf. So I may go back and hit up the dollar section again um, just to see if they add anything to it because it is still kind of early in the season. And maybe that'll be in my next video and I'll take you guys along with me or maybe I'll go to like another Target or something. But I am now gonna place these and kind of show you guys what I've been doing in the house for spring. Also, a little update, me and my hubby did end up picking a couch. So now we're just kind of waiting on it. Um, we ended up picking the Vernon, I believe it's called. I will insert a picture here if I can. And um, it is from our house and it's beautiful. I can't wait to get it. Um, but it doesn't come till Thursday or Friday, Friday, I think. So kind of got to wait to see that. It will probably be in a reveal video the next time I see you guys. But in the meantime, I'm just going to show you what I have going on right now and what I switched over and things like that. So the major change, honestly, is just all the greenery. I wanted it to kind of look like an oasis, kind of like you're walking into a jungle. I did add my Target plants that I just picked up here and here, which I don't know if I'm going to keep it there, but I kind of I kind of like this section with that potted plant. But my issue is you can kind of not see my potted plant here. So I'm not sure. I mean, you could see it, but not great so I'm not sure if I should move this or move the plants but I don't know it depends on how I'm feeling right now I'm okay with kind of not seeing it but we'll see and um then here I switched out obviously the valentine decor there's no longer um any roses hanging there it's just straight um I believe it's called eucalyptus I don't know I got that on it's like a garland and I got it on Amazon. I will link it below if I can find it. So kind of just very simple, but just bringing in all the life and spring vibes that you need. Then for my dining table, I decided to keep it kind of clear and clean. I got this white um, particular floral set. I actually made it. Those stems were from, I believe, Hobby Lobby, and I just put them in a short little vase. I think that looks really cute. And then I added some more greenery here, kind of like different heights, but kind of like not too dramatic, just kind of giving it that symmetrical feel, which I absolutely love. And then I did decide to switch out the heart placements to these beautiful wicker um, circular placemats. And I think that looks really cute. Another major change is my coffee bar. No more pink, no more roses, just simple black. I do have my little Ewok here because he just worked perfectly for this. And you know, May the 4th is right around the corner, so why not have my butt first coffee sign and my little plants. These were also Target finds, but I did find them last year. So um, I'm sure they have a ton of, you know, other ones now, but yes. This is the new setup for the coffee bar. I use these year round, these little marble heart coasters. So that probably wouldn't have changed regardless, but I absolutely love how cute this looks. Then over here in the kitchen, I just thought I would show you guys what I switched out. This was a little Valentine section, with my Funkos and little um, red Eiffel Tower. If you guys have been following me a while, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but I switched that out. This is like my little baking quarter. So I did get these little acrylic bamboo, um, containers to keep my brown sugar and my, uh, chocolate chips in. And it kind of goes perfect with the lamp here. And this I've been had since we moved in. It just kind of moves around the house, to be honest. Um, all my plants kind of move around the house. Um, the only new ones are the ones I showed you, but I do like to keep a lot of faux plants. And this is just, you know, 
a spring refresh. I also have a little bit of eucalyptus garland in the back to just add some greenery, a pop there. Um, but yeah, this is my little baking corner, especially since my kitchen aid is here. And then lastly, I did change out my wreaths with some flowers just to bring, you know, that springy vibe. I have a jar of eucalyptus and baby breath flowers there. So cute, you guys. So affordable. If you guys just want to like have like a fresh, cute look of something like lifely in your house, this is perfect. Go to the um, store, like the garden store or the flower shop, local flower shop, and get some eucalyptus and baby breaths. And I promise you will not regret it. I also changed out my um, kitchen towels to my Cinderella towels, which I absolutely love. And that is it, you guys. Super Okay, simple. you guys, that's a wrap on today's video. I hope everyone's had a great time spending the day with me, kind of shopping the Target section, getting inspired for spring. Um, I'm not completely done yet, so you will get updates, obviously, if I add anything to the house or maybe if I decide to add things to upstairs. You guys will be the first ones to know. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up on your way out. Also, do not forget to subscribe. It really, really helps me out and I would appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.